Learning about the Supreme Court and the U.S. Constitution brings back not so exciting memories of history class in high school. Sorry, Mr. Brown. But thanks to six Colorado voters, four Republicans and two unaffiliated, and a liberal group here in Washington, a real-time history lesson from the Supreme Court on the Constitution takes place tomorrow. Former Republican state lawmaker Norma Anderson is the namesake of Trump versus Anderson. She is one of the six voters who put her name on the court challenge that brought us here to D.C. The challenge is focused on the 14th Amendment. A Denver district court determined Trump engaged in insurrection, but that the 14th Amendment's insurrection clause did not apply to the president. The Colorado Supreme Court determined it did, disqualifying Trump from running for president pending the U.S. Supreme Court taking up the case. This all leads to tomorrow, when Anderson's case is heard by the nation's highest court. I don't think they've already decided, no. I think they have an open mind, because you always hear something you didn't expect. It's like when I was in committees. You know, I'd have my mind made up on a bill. And then I'd hear something and i think, well, maybe I'm wrong. Anderson will be in court tomorrow morning. She says she's a good reader of people, but has no clue if she'll be able to read the justices based on their expressions or even the questions they ask. There are no cameras allowed in the Supreme Court. We do get audio from inside, however. I could try to draw some photos to combine with the audio, but I can't draw. At the Supreme Court, Marshall Zellinger, 9 News. In lieu of Marshall's drawings, we will have a link to the live audio feed tomorrow on 9news.com, and Marshall will be providing updates on 9news throughout the day.